Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com coming to you witnessing the world from Thailand and this one is all about witnessing success. And I suppose before you can start to talk about success briefly in this presentation, you've got to define success and success to different people means different things. I suppose at one time in my life as a younger man, I might have taught and maybe even encourage people to goal set for money, status, things, acquisitions, security, which tends to be things. You tend to want to build your house. So that's the foundation, your castle, if you like. And then you want to fill your castle with things that please you and make you happy and allow you to live your life. But I've got to be honest with you, over the last few years, and particularly this last 12 months I've been living in Thailand, although I've been coming to Thailand for 17 years, I've realised that you can have all the things that you think you want, but if you haven't got what you need, which is happiness, health, if you haven't got peace of mind, you won't enjoy any of the things that you collect, that you hoard, that society tells you that you need to have. They're just wants, they're not needs, and want is a weak word. So to me, success means something far more these days. Maybe I'm getting older, maybe I'm getting wiser, I really don't know. But I've definitely changed my point of view on what's important in life. And as a mentor, as a life coach, as a facilitator, as a hypnotherapist, I encourage other people to define what is success in their life, health and happiness, and then I help them overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of it. And I never tell them what they should have, be and do. I ask them to decide that for themselves. But there's something else that I'm witnessing as well, which is called jealousy. Because where I am at the moment is very desirable. I've worked very hard for it, as have many other people who have achieved their own personal definition of success. They've got what they want, they do what they want, they've become what they want to become, what they wanted to become. And along the way, they'll have, have had hecklers and people who've told them they won't do it, they don't deserve it, they're not clever enough, they're in the wrong place at the wrong time that are a waste of space, all these put downs that I heard at school, because I wasn't particularly academic, I qualified really well in adult education as an engineer, but I did really rubbish at um, secondary school in terms of O levels and A levels, GCSEs. So the world told me what the world thought I was capable of, and I didn't believe it exactly the same as I didn't believe it when I was told I would never walk again in 2007 with a spine injury, or I'd never see again in 2016 when I had a mini stroke that I'd never see again. That it, my temporary blindness might have to be accepted as permanent blindness, it wasn't. And I know many people who've created personal miracles in their own life, um, in my family as well, my daughter. Um, and my sons achieved really well and my father achieved really well, and my mother achieved really well. Um, so I'm sure you've all got these stories, but there are people who will be jealous of your success. They don't want you to leave their pack, and so they hold you back. People who want to give up smoking and all the smokers tell them, oh, hypnosis doesn't work, patches don't work this doesn't work, that doesn't work. People who want to lose weight and people say, oh, I've been going to Weight Watchers for years, it doesn't work that. It's a waste of time going to the gym, it's a waste of time juicing, it's a waste of time going on a high protein diet or a high carbohydrate diet or this diet or that diet, it won't work. And they're projecting onto you their limitation because they're jealous, they don't want you to succeed. You've got to be independent of the opinion of other people and Wayne Dyer said you've got to be independent of the good and bad that when somebody compliments you 
You shouldn't need it. It's nice to be complimented. I like to be complimented and congratulated and appreciated. But nobody appreciates me more than me. Nobody congratulates me more than me. Nobody respects me more than me. And so I love and like myself. And it's nice if you do, or people around me do, but it's not mandatory. I don't know what people think of me, of me. And I can't control that, so I don't react to that. And as a younger man, I did, and maybe even last week I did. But I'm constantly reminding myself that I am my own best expert. It's my life. I'm here for a short amount of time on this earth, in eternity, to experience this five century reality we call life. And if it's to be, it's up to me that I make my own happiness, I make my own health, I make my own decisions, I make my own success or failure, that I live and die by my own sword. And so as I witness people who have so little and are so happy and healthy, and people who have so much and aren't, and it can be the other way around, it can be that these acquisitions make you happy, make you feel secure, and to a large extent, some of my possessions I really value but I do really value them. I don't take them for granted. I say thank you for them. I thank the universe for them. I thank my parents. I honor my parents for giving me the mindset and the life to enjoy these things. And I live to honor them, my parents, and I honor my possessions and my acquisitions and my successes. And I think saying thank you is really important to say thank you for what you've achieved and what you've got. Gratitude, being grateful. So success is defined by you, your life is defined by you, your decisions are defined by you, and the higher up the tree you go in life, the further you can fall. And people are very ready to throw things at you to knock you out of your success tree, to knock you off your pedestal that you put yourself on. And I really do encourage you to put yourself on a pedestal, not out of ego, not out of arrogance, not out of any big headedness, but just out of pride and respect for yourself and self congratulation. So as I continue to achieve and exceed all my expectations of myself, and certainly all the expectations of other people for me, who said, you'll never do this, you'll never do that. I'm not really trying to prove them wrong. I'm trying to just be the best that I can be with what I've got right now. And as my life changes because of health situations and personal circumstances, situations, people coming into my life, people leaving my life, people dying, people offering me support, people heckling me. In the center of all that is me, because if it's to be, it's up to me. And as I witness this in myself and observe what other people do to me, in the family, in my inner circle of friends, in my outer circle of friends, in my working relationships, with my mates, with my neighbors, with my new neighbors. I just stand back and witness it. And one of the affirmations that I really, really, really endorse and prescribe and recommend is that didn't get to me. When people heckle me and people put me down and even when people congratulate me, that didn't get to me. I don't get big headed. I don't get aloof. I don't get offended. And when I do, I go back to basics. I breathe. I power myself up. I get my balance. I pick myself up. I learn from it. And I carry on. I fall forward, not backwards. That didn't get to me. He didn't get to me. She didn't get to me. They didn't get to me. And I don't get to myself. I'm getting far better at self-control, self-mastery, which is what I teach. And what I preach. So success is whatever you make it. And success for you might be something quite modest. And why not? Success might be peace of mind, which is really important. Success might be health, which is really, really important. Success could be things, it could be money, it could be education, it could be personality. It could be service, giving. And it could be stuff, but whatever it is for you, make sure that you decide it, you define it, and then you achieve it. And if I can help you with that, you know where I am. 
My name's Mike from MrMikeGonner.com and put your comments in the comments box below. If I can help you, inbox me and I will. And be strong, be a warrior, be kind, be compassionate, be honest, be loving, be the best you that you can be. God bless.